Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's have a look at some financial maths type questions. And the one I'm going to start with here is the 2018 question. I'm going to come back to the 2019 question at a later stage. The 2018 question was as follows. When Sean joined a sales company, he was offered a choice of two different salary contracts. The details of the contracts are outlined in the table below. Contract A uh, gives him a guaranteed salary of 35,000 and commission of 2% on his sales. Contract B gives him 30,000 of a salary, but 3% on sales. Okay, so this is what he's guaranteed even if he makes no sales. This then is, it's like an incentive in that the more sales you make, the more money you make. Okay, so sales jobs are often like this to um, incentivize you to sell more. So the question part A asked, find how much Sean would earn under each contract in a year where his total sales uh, were 40,000, 400,000. Okay, so let's have a look at contract A. Okay, so in contract A, his sales is 40, 400,000 and he gets to keep 2% of each, okay? So I need to get 2% of 400,000. So I need 2% of 400,000. Now there's, there's a few ways of getting um, percentages of numbers. I might do them out here just to, um, seeing as it's the first one we've done, you can divide by 100. Dividing by 100 gets you the equivalent of 1%, okay? There's 100% in the full number, so dividing by 100 gets you 1%, okay? And then you would multiply by 2 to give you the 2%, okay? Um, and that will give you 8,000. Or, of course, you can go on your calculator 2 and put in the percentage sim symbol, which is behind the bracket, and put 400 in a bracket or multiply by 400. Um, let me just do that on my calculator to make sure that it works with the bracket and that I don't need the multiplied sign. Yep, yeah, and I get 8,000 for that. Or of course, you can convert the 2% to a decimal and you convert that to a decimal by dividing two divided by 100 and you get uh, 0 0.02. And again, you multiply it by 400,000, okay? So whichever one of these those methods, one, two, or three, makes sense. Um, this is the riskiest one because it doesn't work for every single question. So for example, a question that included VAT, um, it, this one isn't as nice for it. What, what is happening on your calculator when you put in 2% is that programmed into your calculator when your calculator sees that percentage sign, what it actually does is divide by 100. Okay, and then of course, the two is the multiplied by two. So either way, on contract A, his commission is 8,000. So we take that 8,000 and we add it to his salary. And five, six, seven, eight, I get 43,000. Okay, for contract B then, Again, you're getting 3% of 400,000, whichever way you want to do it. Um, I'm going to divide by 100 and multiply by 3. Um, so that's 4, 8, 12,000. And I add that one on to his salary, which is 30,000, and he gets 42,000 euros. Okay, so 43 if you're on contract A, 42 if you're on contract B, okay? And sometimes you get questions about like which contract is better. Well, it very much depends on how much is the normal sales for a year. So if normal sales for a year was 400,000, then you're better off on contract A. However, if normal sales for a year was maybe something like 800,000, well, that you earn much more commission on contract B. So contract B would end up being a better one in that case. 
Okay, so that part A was was worth ten marks that year, um, which is nice. Part B then is was much more difficult uh, and it was worth five marks. Another employee, Mary, earned fifty thousand in a particular year. She's on contract A. Okay, so find her total sales for the year. So her wages is fifty thousand, which is this one here. So uh, she's on contract A. So we know that her sales then is going to be bigger than the 400,000 uh, because her wages are bigger. The 35,000 is set. So the only way she can get up to 50,000 in a year is to have 15,000 of commission because 15 and 35 will give you 50. OK, so. It's this 15,000 then that I'm going to play around with. OK, so how would I write that out mathematically? Well, her wages is 50,000. So it's made up of um, salary plus commission. So it's 35,000 plus, uh, will we call it X? Doesn't really matter what we call it. OK, um, let's subtract the 35,000 from both sides and you will get 50,000 minus that 35,000 being equal to X. Well, I should probably write down not the full X. Well, yeah, X, okay. So 15,000 is equal to X. However, the X is a little bit misle misleading in that that commission is 2% of sales. OK, so let me come around here. That 15,000 then is equal to 2% of, will we call it sales? Divide both sides by 2% because 2% is just a number and I will get my sales. So on my calculator, 15,000 over 2%. And I am getting 750,000 for the sales that Mary made in that particular year. And I'm not surprised by the number because uh, Sean had to made 400,000 worth of sales and got 8,000. Um, 15 is nearly twice that. Eight and eight would be 16. So I'd nearly expect Mary to have uh, nearly twice as amount of sales. And I would imagine some students that year did it by trial and error by looking at the 8,000 being 400,000 and then trying their hand at 800,000, 700,000, 750 and getting 2% of it and getting the 15,000 commission in that way. And that's a perfectly fine way of doing it to, in other words, to use trial and error to get your sales here. OK, so this is how you would do it, I suppose, algebraically or mathematically. Uh, you could use trial and error if you needed to. OK, but that whole part B there was worth five marks. Part C then, find the total sales for which a salesperson would earn the same amount of money under each contract. OK, when are wages the same? Well, we know for sales of 400,000 that wages are not the same. We have 43 and 42, but they're close. OK, so how did I get that 43,000? Well, I took my commission, which was 2% of S, and I added the 35,000 to it. OK, so I got 2% of S. And I added the 35,000 to it. OK, so that's how I got um, my uh, wages for my salary for contract A. For contract B then, I got 3% of S and I added 30,000 to it. So the question is asking, when are they the same? Yeah. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is numbers to one side letters to the other, just like I would before. So I'm going to bring my letters over here. So I have 2% of S minus 3% of S. And of course, I'm going to bring the numbers over to the right. 
OK, or subtract from both sides, whichever way you look at it. But just like I would any other algebra, some letters to one side, numbers to the other. OK, so we've got a, a percent or minus numbers um, going on. Let's change signs across. Okay, which you know is perfectly fine to do as long as you do it all the way across, okay? And then divide by the number in front of S, just like we did before. And 1% over 1% cancels and S sales, which is S, is equal to, on my calculator, 5,000 over one shift, the uh, open bracket and I'm getting 500,000 euros for when they're the same. Okay, and that feels right because the wages was relatively close at 400,000. Um, so um, yeah, 500 feels right. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the level 8 in electronics and self-driving technologies and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.